What's up, gamers? Today we're going to be introducing the Ampla Game AM8 by Fine Vine. I'm going to be giving you guys a compare and contrast versus my Sure MV7, this right here, and the Ampla 8 right here. First thing first, I want to give a shout out to Ted from Fine Fine for hitting me up, reaching out to me, and sending me this microphone to test out and uh, show to you guys. Now, a little disclaimer here. This isn't a video of battling to see which mic is better. This is just showing you guys two separate options. If you want to become a content creator or you want to start creating content, streaming, podcasting, things of that nature, these are two options for you. So let's get the video started with a little brutal unboxing of this guy here. Now, the best part about these two microphones, if you don't want to spend a ton of money on a mixer and a cloud lifter and all that good stuff, they are USB compatible. Both of these microphones are USB, and they both also have the option to be XLR as well if you do have a mixer and you want to go that route. But since I personally don't have a mixer, we're going to just test them with the USB version of these microphones and... I'm going to run them through a couple tests, one completely raw, unfiltered, absolutely everything, and another test with some filters from Voice Mod to test uh, what they sound like to see if we can get the best sounding crispiness on both sides of the microphone. All right, the first thing I would like to discuss is pricing. They're both available on Amazon. Uh, the Shure MV7 right here is $249. It comes in black and silver. This is the one that I currently have. I've had it for about two years and the one I'm currently talking on at the moment. Now, it does come with this boom attachment here pictured in the image here, uh, but it doesn't come with like a desk mount base plate, which the AM8 does. And the Shura actually comes with a 10-foot USB cable uh, compared to the AM8 that comes with a 6.5-foot USB cable. But as you can see, the AM8 is a fifth of the price coming in at $54.99 off of Amazon as well. And it is on Prime delivery, which is super nice if you're impatient like me. The the fine fine microphone AM8 comes in black, pink, and white, which all three of them look crispy clean. Uh the one that I actually received is the black one. So that's going to be the one that we are showcasing today. All right, so firstly, we have the Shure MV7 with absolutely no filters, no post-processing, no pre-processing, no processing at all. This is the plain Jane microphone. This is my normal talking voice, although I am a little sick, still left over, but uh, we're getting there. This is, I literally Googled what is the good phrase to test microphones. So let's get it. The small pup gnawed a hole in the sock. The small pup gnawed a hole in the sock. The fish twisted and turned on the bent hook. The fish twisted and turned on the bent hook. Press the pants and sew a button on the vest. Press the pants and sew a button on the vest. All right, so those are some just plain phrases uh, between the two microphones. Next, I'm going to be turning on what I believe is my favorite voice mod filter, uh, and it is called Best Voice right here. This is the one that I normally use. You'll notice when I click it, my voice gets a little bit deeper and a little bit uh, more bass and everything like that. So we're going to test back and forth here. We're going to go with the Shure MV7 right now. The beauty of the view stunned the young boy. The beauty of the view stunned the young boy. Two blue fish swam in the tank. Two blue fish swam in the tank. Her purse was full of useless trash. Her purse was full of useless trash. All right, so another test that I'm going to run, I'm just going to call it the tap test. 
I'm going to tap on my desk and then I'm going to tap on my keys and my mouse. And we're just going to see what kind of feedback we get with no filters, obviously. So desk tap. This is with the Shure MV7. Okay. And next we'll do the fine, fine AM8. I honestly, for a fifth of the price, this guy right here is, I almost think it's better than the Shure MV7. This, this thing does a great job. It also has a couple other features on here, like uh, you can adjust the volume of the microphone. Uh, you can also change the color of the LED by pressing this button here. Uh, it has solid color settings, and then it has settings like this where it just kind of does its own little... Uh, rainbow led rgb effect which is pretty dope i do like that also another thing i like is the mute button on the back it's simply a microphone green microphone touch it and it goes red touch it again and it goes green that's super awesome you can also plug your headphones into this mic if you would like i personally still like to plug mine in directly into my pc uh, this microphone also has a headphone input but the problem with it is, is I can hear myself talking as well over the game audio. And I'm just not a huge fan of hearing myself talking. Um, one thing I don't like about the Shure mic, I don't know if I can zoom in on this too well, but the mute button is tucked behind this bracket and it's almost impossible to get to. So that mute button being a little bit more accessible here is going to be fantastic. So I do think I'm going to utilize this microphone for, for a little while here and, you know, let find out what everybody else thinks. But personally, um, like if I'm to switch to this right now, I think it sounds quite a bit better. I, re I really do. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, if you would like to get this microphone, the link will be in the description at the top of the page. Like I said, for a fifth of the price, it's kind of a no brainer. Um, you guys have a good day. Thank you for watching my very first ever product review video. And once again, thank you guys at Fine Fine for sending me this microphone. It's super, super awesome. Um, I hope I helped you out and I hope you got some value from this. Make sure you like and subscribe for more potential for product reviews or if you like survival games, that's what I normally play. So you guys have a good one. We'll see you on the next one. Peace out.